All right, it's Canada Day. It's Canada's big day this weekend, and a barbecue is probably on, on the cards for many of us. So here to help us build a Canada Day menu for this big birthday bash, our food expert, Mary Bird. Hello. Thank, thank you for you. being thank here. Thank you for having me. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to you as well. Yeah, I'm glad you're still here for today and I'm, Ottawa. Uh, we're, we're going right after I this. I know. It's going to be lovely. Okay, so, uh, yes, a barbecue is quintessentially Canadian. It's quintessentially summer Perfect time to do it, but you've got something, you've tweaked it a little bit. I've tweaked it a little, I've made it pretty Canadian, I think. Yeah. I've, I've kind of crammed as much of the provinces as I could into one little burger. All right, tell me what you mean. Um, so the first thing, instead of a traditional bun, I've made a bannock. So a bannock is kind of like a scone almost, okay. but you cook it on um, uh, an open fire or okay. you can cook it in a cast iron skillet. So the only difference really, instead of using cold butter and cutting it in, you melt butter, pour it in, and you cook it almost like a pancake. Okay. Yeah. So they're really, really tasty, and you just split them in half. Do you want a little piece? I do want a little okay, piece. Okay, go for it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's nice with just butter and jam. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, taste the butter in there. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a great bun. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, we use lard, which is perfect if you're going camping, mm -hmm. but I like butter. I'm yeah. a fan of butter. Um, I know you are. Mm -hmm. So yeah. inside of this lovely bannock, mm -mm -mm. We have bison burgers. Yes. So bison is classic Canadian. It originates in the prairies. Um, it, it went around way, way back when, when there were a ton of bison in Canada. Um, it's still farmed in the area and it is delicious. So inside this bison burger, we've caramelized some onions with maple syrup. So we've got some Quebec there and Ontario in there. And then we use summer savory, which is a classic Newfoundland ingredient. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Give it a smell. Yeah. Oh, you got a little bit in the nose. Yeah. That smells really <laughs> interesting. Little, there you go. Thank you. Um, so it's a little bit um, lemony, yeah, and it doesn't have that kind of punch that rosemary or thyme have. It's called summer savory. Summer savory. Oh wow! Yeah, and it's classic with um, poultry in, okay. in Newfoundland, but we put it in with the bison. Great. It plays really okay. nicely. And then Dijon. Now this is my favorite party fact: Dijon mm. mustard and mustard in general, seventy-five to ninety percent of the world's mustard seed grown in Canada. No. Yes. Mind, You're the mustard capital of the mind world. Mind blown. It does not make over well at parties, but I love that fact. Wow. So, so, yeah, so you really put this whole thing together. Completely. And you've got a very, very Canadian burger. Very I Canadian. Like that. And we've got some PEI cheese. So basically all we do, put it together, mm -hmm. and then we get little burgers like these. Well, they look beautiful. Yeah. They look great. Do you want to give one a go? Do you want to uh, put one together? No, or do I'm, we want I'm kind of seeing, I'm eyeballing this okay. over here. Okay, yeah. So the, what, what do we have here? Because a lot of Canadians recognize this a little bit. Yeah, so I've named these Canadian Doughboys. My husband was really partial to the name canoe paddles. Yeah. I also called them Dough Canada, but that didn't that didn't fly. <laughs> okay. Um, but essentially they're just a, a donut dough that we fry in in just classic oil. Uh -huh. It has buttermilk in it. It's really nice and soft. And I'm just gonna show you how we, we form it. Do you want to okay. help me? Sure. Okay. okay. So basically we get the dough. Yeah. Pat it into a little oval. Sure. And then what you want to do before, if you just drop it in like this, it'll puff up like a donut. Okay. But we want that kind of like. So what you like? You pull. Oh, you pull. Yeah. Okay. And you stretch it out so okay. it kind of looks like a canoe paddle. Okay, I like that. Or what we're calling a Canadian dough boy. So in them, there's buttermilk, okay. there's butter, and then you just pop it in the you oil. You pop it in the oil, and it comes out, and then you have. A, Peppered these things with with sugar and cinnamon. I'm yes, guessing. you yes? need extra sugar. So yeah. it's cinnamon sugar, and then I don't know about you, but my classic is with lemon as Some well. Some people do that. I just go with whatever. You just there. go. Okay. You know what? May I? I'm yes, gonna, you I'm go for really it. Lemon. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lemon juice. That's perfect. Is it good? Good. Uh. Wait, perfect. Mm -hmm. awesome. A lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is if you have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. What if you want a libation? So if you want a libation. This is my take on cottage country. So we're using um, cranberry juice because Bala and Muskoka mm -hmm. grows a ton of cranberries. And for that kind of woodsy feel, we put a little bit of rosemary in there. Okay. Now, if you want to do this, this is a little Ooh. risky. Okay. Are you game or no? Sure, go for it. Okay. We light a little match, burn it a bit. Why? Because it makes it smell like a campfire. It does! Right? And then we pop into the mixer, a little bit of ice. That's a heck of a hat. I know, cranberry juice, gin, because again, junipery, in my opinion, gin kind of tastes like pine trees. Mm -hmm. A little bit of lemon juice to sweeten it up and make it a bit sour. And then we give it a bit of a shake. We don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. And the presentation is beautiful. Exactly. Mary Burke. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to you as well. Yeah. And you can find these recipes on yourmorning.ca. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>